Uh, hey guys, welcome to this session. Our topic is climate. Uh, in the past video, we discussed the concept of climate. We saw the difference between weather and climate. So today, uh, let's see the factors affecting the climate. In the last session, we just listed them. So today, let's see them in detail, starting with the first one, that is the latitude. Now, latitude, this factor simply affects the temperature and the rainfall of the region. It is around the coast to the equator explains a higher temperature and receive higher rainfall than those further away from the equator. So the rainfall and the temperature decreases as one move away from the equator. The amount of heat also received at any place on the Earth's surface depends on the angle at which the sun's rays uh, strike the surface of the Earth and the duration of sunlight. Now, simply also, as at the equator, the sun rays uh, fall on the Earth's surface at almost uh, light angle throughout the year, but the angle at which the sun rays uh, strike the Earth's surface decreases as the world moves toward the, the poles. Now, from this concept, therefore, the temperatures decrease with the increase in latitude because the equator receives a bit of rays of sunlight, while the north and the south poles receive uh, slanting rays. Now, uh, because of this fact, the equator and the places near the equator are hot away areas or places near or in the south or north poles are colder. So that's all about the latitude. Moving on, the second one is the altitude. Now, this factor it affects the temperature and the atmospheric pressure of an area. Temperature decreases with the increasing altitude at the rate of 4 to 26 degrees every 100 meters from the sea level. Therefore, uh, at lower altitude areas, uh, they, they will be warmer than higher altitude areas. Also, atmospheric pressure decreases with the increasing altitude. The pressure at the sea level is higher than the pressure at the summit of a high mountain. So that's simply about the, how the altitude affects the climate of a place. The third one is ocean currents. The nature of the ocean currents also increases the temperature of the wind uh, blowing over it and it also transfers this effect to the land adjacent to the ocean. This will either lead to the reduction or increase in the temperature of the land depending on the type of the ocean current. The wind blowing over warm ocean currents will pick moisture from the ocean and often causes heavy rainfall over the land. Uh, while the wind blowing over the cold ocean currents brings little or no rainfall to the land. Now, uh, from there, this amount of ocean currents will also just increase the temperature and the rainfall distribution within the region. The fourth one is the distance from the sea. This simply affects the temperature and the rainfall. Places located in near the sea experience high temperature and you receive high rainfall than those located further away. This is because of high risk of evaporation from the water surface, which will eventually cause heavy rainfall along the coastal areas. For this reason, for this kind of reason, coastal regions often are experiencing higher temperatures and rainfall than those in inland areas. So also this distance from the sea will also show uh, and the influence the amount of temperature and rainfall that can occur within a region. The first one is aspect. Now this term refers to the direction in which a slope faces. Now this also it increases the temperature and the rainfall. For example, the south facing slopes in the northern hemisphere are always warmer than those of the north facing slopes. Also, the windward side of the mountain receives heavier rainfall than the leeward side. Uh, windward side, the place that is uh, facing the moist the wind, while the leeward side is the uh, side of the mountain that has dry wind. So from there, we also uh, sh show the distribution of rainfall. So basically, I guess we've discussed the five factors affecting the climate. I will see other five factors that affect the climate in our next session. Thank you.